There are a lot of game developers in the world today, and some of them are far more along that journey than others, and they've already learned the hardships of building games. The knowledge these veteran developers have gained over the years is invaluable, but there are some myths and misconceptions about game development that a lot of new people to the scene still believe, when in actual fact they are completely false and you shouldn't believe them. So here are 5 myths and misconceptions about game development that you shouldn't believe. You need a college degree to make games. As you might have already guessed, I don't have a college degree. I barely have any education really, but I taught myself everything I know about game development. I started a long, long time ago when I knew I loved video games and I've built my knowledge up over the decades. I've even worked in the gaming industry, but that's a whole other story. Anyway, just because you don't have a qualification in game development, it doesn't mean that you can't learn and just do it. There are quite literally thousands of indie developers who didn't learn it in college or university and they are still hugely successful. These days qualifications kinda don't matter like they used to in the 80s and 90s because if you can prove your skills, chances are you're in, and that's all thanks to the internet. But even without a college degree it's going to cost a lot of money I hear you say. Well, you guessed it, that's another myth. You don't need a lot of money to make games. In fact, you don't need money at all. Most of the games I make have all been done without spending a penny. If you're able to make your own textures or music, then yeah, of course it's going to cost you very little, if anything at all to be honest, but that's the beauty of the internet. There are so many resources where you can learn game development for free, like my channel here on YouTube which you should subscribe to. There's also places you're able to get assets which other developers have kindly made and allow you to download them for free. Naturally some are paid for, but that doesn't mean everything is paid for, you can find plenty of free assets out there. But using assets is just asset flipping I hear you say, well you're wrong on that one. The term asset flipping was popularised by YouTuber Jim Sterling and has become one of the most disliked forms of video games because of that. But it's also a misconception that any game which uses an asset not made by yourself is an asset flip. To be clear, just because you are using assets from an asset store, it does not make your game an asset flip. I think the definition of an asset flip has become quite clouded over the years. An asset flip is when you literally take an entire game source code, change the name or maybe a few other things inside the game and then try to pass it off as your own and sell it. Using assets from an asset store is not asset flipping. Quite literally the asset stores are there to provide you with assets to make a game. Let's say all of your models, textures and audio files are from the asset store from multiple different creators. It still takes a lot of work to smash all that together to make a game as you're the one doing all the programming. But programming takes years to learn I hear you say. Well. It can take years to learn if you're not trying. Learning a programming language isn't like learning a new actual language like Swahili. The fundamentals of all coding languages are the same. Just master logic gates and you're well on your way. Yes I know languages change and evolve over time, some become redundant or useless, but these days to make a game you don't even need to master a programming language. You can just as easily learn as you go along. I first learned BASIC, then Pascal, then I learned Visual BASIC and Java, and then I learned C Sharp, and amongst all that I learned things like HTML, and I'm master of none of those languages, but I know more than enough to get by, and I can make pretty much any game whether it looks good or not. But I want to learn C++ so I can use Unreal because the games look better I hear you say, and quite frankly no you're not correct there. A game only looks as good as the developer making it. There are plenty of examples of games made in Unreal that just look awful. I get it, Epic puts out some amazing looking demos and there are genuinely some games made in Unreal that look fantastic, but that just distorts the average consumer's view. There's a huge misconception that Unity games and Godot games always look worse than Unreal games and that's just simply not true. If a developer cannot use Unreal to its full potential, it's going to look real bad. It's also quite subjective. 
I mean, which looks better? Shenmue 3 or Cuphead? One is made in Unity and the other is made in Unreal. But graphics aren't everything. What is the point in having a really amazing, fabulous, tremendous looking game if it plays like garbage, has a terrible story and lasts 40 minutes? So there are five myths and misconceptions about game development. Did you believe any or do you have a misconception of your own? Please let me know in the comments down below.